I recently received an email from an individual that works at a company that provides maintenance on ships. And what he wanted to know is if there was a formula that could look at both ship type and the maintenance and return the total of all the invoices. And for a reason I cannot recall at the moment, they wanted to know how to do this without a pivot table. And this was a long list of information that didn't exactly lend itself to eyeballing it. Of course, what you see here is completely made up, but you get the point. And in case you missed it on account of the abstract context, here I changed it to winter department sales. But I didn't update the prices because I was lazy. So what the email asked was, is there a formula that you can put in cell D20 that would look at the data above and return the sum of all prices for white sweaters. So what I did was create my own Excel spreadsheet to send back to him. I named the company Fun in the Sun Shipyard Services Incorporated and listed the vessel service options for three types of boat, a large boat, a small boat, and a banana boat. Services provided include adding a rudder for $100,000, removing a pirate for $750,000, winter preparations for $9,000, or if you'd like to avoid winter prep, sinking the boat for $0, because even though it probably involves some work, it could be fun. And then on banana boat, you can patch the hole properly, or for $5, Fun in the Sun Shipyard Services will provide a piece of duct tape. Below that, I included my service log, and finally, a subtotal filter for the formula requested which requires the type of vessel and the type of maintenance to return the dollar value. So now all you have to do is select an option and the formula returns the appropriate value. So how does this work? Basically what we're doing is using some product and including two dashes. Double dashes or minus signs converts the outcome to true-false. So for example, here we have an array with B24 to B34 selected and set equal to B42. B42, of course, being the large boat that we're looking for. If we include the two minus signs in this highlighted selection and then press F9 to calculate, basically what you have is the array from B24 to B34, showing a value of one for large boat and zero for anything that does not match large boat. We can then do the same thing for the array C24 to C34 equal to C42. Press F9 again, and now we show ones only where that array includes remove pirate. So for example, in this array, we have three zeros and then finally a 1. And if we look at C24 to C34, C24 is add rudder, C25 sink, C26 duct tape hole, and finally C27 remove pirate, a match. And finally we have the last array. Select it and press F9. And all this is doing is returning all of the values from D24 to D34 precisely as you see them listed in this array. And what some product is doing is multiplying all of these values in the order that they appear. So let's look at this. First, we have 1 times 0 times 100,000, which of course returns 0. Next, 0 times 0 times 0. Don't have to be a mathematician for that. The third entry again returns 0. But then finally, in the fourth entry, we have 1 times 1 times $750,000. And because this is a much smaller data set, we can eyeball it here. And you'll note that there are two examples in the array above, both equal to $750,000, which combined works out to $1.5 million. And that's how the formula works. I thought it combined enough tricky Excel hacks to warrant a video. And if you want to try the challenge yourself, download this Excel template and try inputting the formula in cell D20. And very quickly before I let you go, if you're wondering how to create the drop-down list, 
Delete the contents in the cell. Click on Data, then Data Validation. Select List, and then for Source, select all the values you would like to see in this list. Press OK, and you're done. Now when you input the formula, you'll have this convenient drop-down list. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.